Right, good morning everyone. Yeah. Your school days. Either love them. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All over them. Um, one good grade out of all the roots. Yeah. Um, do you mind? I'm not wasting this double period so you guys can chat. You'll never forget them. No, it's fine. Why do you listen to him? I oh, did not tell you to <laughs> change the image. At this six form in Surrey, things are changing. Here's teacher, giver of wisdom. She. Recently, the school has merged with another secondary school in the area. But no, I think it's, I think it's a really good idea. I think, I think that's the way lots of things are going, not just in education, just sharing resources, sharing ideas. It can only be a good thing, I think. This represents an OK school, so merging the two together really hasn't changed anything. Having a new head teacher, Mrs Bailey, has actually brought you know, new vigour to the school and something I think the sixth form have benefited. I'm on the fence about it. I don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing for me. With a new way of teaching. They mostly do exactly what they're told. Stop the banning on the team, Rachel. That was scared of my teachers as well. But when dealing with teenagers, we all know life can never be straightforward. We filmed over several terms to find out what life is really like for sixth form student in Surrey. For the teachers, and of course the students. And I really hope in my little small way that I'm actually helping them. Must be looking at the context and the background in it choose what you want to do and you can do whatever you want with that so it seems like you've got the freedom it's just the atmosphere and just the teachers here and the, it's just it's just nice the whole atmospheric thing at the very start of the jump into adult life sleeping go surfing sleeping 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 and watching the walking dead oh. yes of course <laughs> <laughs> this does not <laughs> <laughs> In this episode of Educating Servity, we will be following the sixth form students at Hollyfield. We will also be finding out from students what they think of school life at the sixth form. <laughs> Uh, well, year 13s are quite, uh, what, what, in current year 13s, are um, it's, it's a, an interesting bunch of uh, students. I don't even say it was me. Why do you listen to him? Because we've done it correctly. He taught, he taught me how to do the other thing. Oh my god. We, I, I did not tell you to change the image. Just go back to you, Oh my god, you can't do that. Why not? <laughs> Miss, I didn't do anything. She's gonna slap you. Miss, it's real camera. It's real camera. I didn't do anything. Oh, it's the image is long. Oh. That's a boring. No, no, no. I can't see. We've done loads of stuff. Ah, uh, there's. Um, I wouldn't say it's the quietest of lessons, but who wants the quietest anyway? Uh, well, Info 3 is all uh, theoretical, so they get a uh, pre-release um, uh, from the board about a situation and they get um, all the questions about it during the exam. And that covers um, how information uh, differs um, and how ICT is being used to deliver this information for various parts of organisations. Uh, at the moment we're we finished the we finished the um, the course so we're going through everything doing revision practice exams on everything that we've learned. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> He's lit. He is fucking up more than I am. He is right, literally right, breaking his feet. Like, do my play it then. What are you doing, Josh? Oh, I'm just doing my play. 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 Oh, I'm just
Oh, all you tell me to change the image size. Oh, don't even <laughs> say it was me. And now it's hard. Why do you listen to him? Because we've done it correctly. But he taught, he taught me how to do the other thing. Oh my god. I did not tell you just to change the image size. Just go back you, my Oh my god, you can't do that. Why not? Missed, I didn't do anything. Slap <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait. I didn't do anything. Oh, it's the image is locked. Oh. What have I done? Should I just close it and then reopen it? Did you save it though? No. No, I... Don't. <laughs> you can't not save. We've done loads of stuff. I love this class because each person is an individual there. Uh, every single person has got different um, uh, needs and different characteristics that put together, it actually gels quite well everyone together, so including myself, I think we all have a really good uh, relationship in the classroom. Uh, we can discuss things quite uh, easily um, and we can go off Point and discuss other issues and then relate them back to the point. Um, I think there's a lot of good things happening in that class, yes. Oh yeah, I did that though on Friday. Yes, I don't really know what to do. What? I don't know how to create the pages and stuff and Ollie, Ollie doesn't even know how to do it and he did it. Ollie, how can you not know how to do it? When I do know how to do it but he's got all of his things and weird ass files and stuff. Uh, I can, I work hard but I get um, distracted rather easily. Uh, ICT, I don't find the most interesting, so... It's fucking boiling in there. I find it easier to go off task, sort of thing. <laughs> Beep! Uh, mate, what is going on here? Usually, just have the people in the class, like... Nathan, Josh, Henry James, he's quite, he's quite a good lad, it's quite funny. About a month ago, a couple of months ago, where I felt that it wasn't, the class was not really putting in enough effort into the uh, lessons. Um, do you mind? I'm not wasting this double period so you guys can chat. Um, and really the lesson is as good as um, the teacher the effort that the teacher puts in and the effort that the student puts in um, and if that's not there then especially in sixth form it's um, it breaks the lesson and it's not as um, good as one would hope for Paige, I didn't teach you in lower year, did I? No. You didn't teach me. I didn't teach you. Didn't you taught me. Like you said. Yeah, with Pedro. You never did it on bubble gum or whatever. You openly hated our advert, but we didn't care. You didn't get moved. You remember the Mr. Webber? Yeah, I can't remember. What was the advert? It was something like a like, Brazilian bubble gum, and it was images that flashed like green. Oh, it was insane, yeah. Yeah, it. <laughs> It was a I liked it. I think this year is, um, is, is, is a lot of very interesting stuff going on in lessons, so hopefully results will reflect that. It's the best day ever. Whoa. It's got to be Nathan's one-liners. He just comes out with the most random, funny, most... They're just so stupid and everyone wets themselves and it's... Ten times funnier when Miss wets herself as well. She just laughs at him. It's quality. Well, I'm pretty funny, yeah, but there are also other people in our class who are pretty funny. I mean, sometimes uh, sometimes there's quite a lot of banter in the class. Like, for instance, we can sometimes hear a bit of banter from Ollie Hall. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Nathan. <laughs> Without doubt. <laughs> well. I sometimes make uh, funny jokes and sometimes I bring the banter to the class. But sometimes it's not me who brings the banter to the class, I just continue it for people. Sell a telly or a camper van in excellent nick. With our apps, it's easy and quick. Reasons to use Gumtree. One, two, three.
Dave saved money on his car insurance at Money Supermarket, and now he feels epic. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was raw like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was fun like me? Don't you? Darling, you're so money supermarket. Give me just a little more time, and our love will surely grow. Give me just a little more time, and our love will surely grow. Life's too short to make a mistake. Let's think of each other and hesitate. Recently in the sixth form, Mrs. Brown has noticed a lack of forks in the common room kitchen. But who is to blame? Hello, my name's Mrs. Brown. I am the director of sixth form at Hollyfield. One of my key roles here, alongside making sure that students achieve and enjoy their time at Hollyfield, is I supply tea bags, milk, and sugar. But when there's no sugar, everyone just hits the roof. When there's no milk, everyone hits the roof. When there's no knives or forks or anything, people will just use their hands. When we run out of sugar, that's always tricky. Uh, or tea bags. Um, so, you know, we start getting students sort of just shaking around the floor because they haven't had their sugar intake. Although most of it seems to end up on the counter. Alongside that, I also have a nice supply of mugs, forks, spoons and knives. Now we have a, an unfortunate incident at the moment in that there is a fork thief. Either that or forks are disappearing into a fork vortex. So we're now having to put up CCTV to try and track where our forks are going. I have a sneaking suspicion that um, they are being thrown into the bin along with pot noodles. Because I tried to make a pot of noodle yesterday and um, chicken and mushroom in tech contain, contain. And um, I went in the kitchen looking for forks and there was a knife and a tin opener. And of course you can't consume a pot noodle with a knife or a tin opener. So I went searching for a fork. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so yeah, I went searching for one and I didn't open the dishwasher. I saw one on the side and it was covered in crap. So I obviously cleaned it and used that one. Afterwards, put my fork back in the sink, put my pot of noodle in the bin, wondering where have all the forks gone? Which seems to be the main staple of some students that we have here. Not the most nourishing um, of food, but maybe if I don't supply forks, that will reduce the consumption, the supply and demand of pot noodles. I know nothing about the forks. I've never heard of anything to do with forks, nor do I borrow forks out of the sixth form um, kitchen very often. Do you know who it could be? Who could it be? It's probably one of the students. I'm taking them home or just like, I don't know, taking them as trophies maybe to celebrate the fact that they've managed to steal something from school. But no, I don't know. I don't, who knows who it is? So no, it's not me. I bring my own forks. I'm not that poor. Uh, my next target is to find out who is stealing all of my mugs. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that they're going into the media suite and also going down into psychology. I will catch them. That's my mission for next term. But it's not me. I categorically can deny that it's not me. The joining up of um, Holyfield and Greycourt is a good one. I think um, having a new head teacher, Mrs. Bailey, has actually brought you know new vigour to the school, um, and certainly I think the sixth form have benefited. Well, in terms of in terms of day to day, I don't really have. I'm sort of a bit removed from it all. I don't really see too much of that. Um, I know when I spoke to um, the head teacher, uh, she encouraged me to go and meet my. Um, doppelganger slash alter ego slash great court equivalent and I haven't managed to do that yet so at some point I will be um, uh, my great court equivalent but um, I think day to day in terms of sort of my work up here it doesn't really it doesn't really um, affect it I don't think I haven't seen sort of too many, too many great court brothers and sisters up on the scene <laughs> maybe that will change at some point I don't know but um, but no I think it's, I think it's a really good idea I think I think that's the way lots of things are going, not just in education, just sharing resources, sharing ideas. It can only be a good thing, I think. I mean, obviously, once you sort the, sort of the logistics out, because um, I know I remember before when the school was part of a collegiate, so it was um, Holyfield and two other um, sick forms. And I think that was quite difficult in terms of teaching and transporting students here and everywhere and subjects and everything else like that. But this doesn't seem to be, it's not quite the same. Thing. It's more a uh, sort of idea sharing, student sharing. So yeah. See, I've, I've heard good things. So I'll keep I'll keep an ear out in case I you know, hear anything else. But I think it's a good thing. No, I'm on the fence about it. I don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing for me. Um, for the school, yes, you can. You know, two colleges or two schools working side by side, more resources, great. Mr. Chamberlain, previous head teacher, he was always there for us. Now it seems like we've got a non-existent head teacher, and I think it's a bit of a shame, but that's just what I think. I'm kind of neutral on it because I think now that we have a link with another school, it does help us um, help them, and they can help us sometimes. And I understand that they don't really have uh, the experience in the media and that's why we send over some of our media students to them to help them in media. Although it does give the disadvantage of uh, us having a head teacher who can't always be there for us because she has to run both Grey Court and Holyfield. So if it's something important, well if something important is going on in Holyfield and they need her to be there and she's at Grey Court, that could be quite a tangle. Uh, I think it's been positive. Um, there is a lot, I mean it's added a bit more workload in the fact that I'm helping out with their media department over there but the whole idea of being able to work with another school and to share ideas and to you know share resources and to look at how other teachers teach in certain areas uh, can be nothing but positive for any any teacher really. Well, okay, this is this is a Mrs. Brown related story. We we have she brought in. It's like one of these um, cracker presents, like, and it's got all different uh, words on, and you know you choose the meaning A, B, C, or D, and you you know you learn a new word. So she brought those in a while ago, and there's there's one particular word that she can't actually say without it sounding Welsh. <laughs> And it's, it's prestidigitation. Prestidigitation, which I can only say in a Welsh accent. I don't know why. Prestidigitation, like that, and she can't actually say it. And every, <laughs> every time she says it, it just makes me laugh because it sounds Welsh. And she's not Welsh, as far as I know. A favourite moment in the sixth form? I think one of my favourites was when Harry dislocated his neck for the, um, like a week, and it was just the fact that he did it from a roly poly was just, was just gone. I don't know, I th I'd probably say it has to be the times where the students have been kicked out of the common room and they're all carrying around their tea and coffee and they can't, they can't get to it. 
And, and when they finished and they want another one, they still can't get back in and they become quite agitated. Okay, so we had one um, fun incident not too long ago uh, where uh, students actually managed to uh, make a fault out of the chairs. So when I got back from uh, teaching uh, double economics, I got back to the sixth form and uh, a number of boys had actually made a fault. Oh uh, yeah, that was a... Uh, that was a... Uh... Yeah. That wasn't too long ago, yeah, we piled all the chairs up to, like, I'd say almost the ceiling and, uh, yeah, just stood behind it, yeah, that was quite funny. <laughs> and were defending their fort from uh, various invaders. You should, be, you should be revising, not making, what is this? Anyway? It's a long spot, it's not, it's a castle. How old are you, four? <laughs> Is that a machine gun? Though we like history reenactments, uh, maybe not in the sixth form common room. Okay, th this is a common room, not a playground. You want to make fours, you should go down to the park, it's the little toddler's area, and you can make it there. Yeah, I don't think Miss Brown liked that very much. <laughs> Nor Miss Salas. <laughs> <laughs> They're lazy, they don't do enough work, uh, they could work harder, they're too quiet. Um, no, I'm only joking. No, they're lovely. Uh, they, they all, they're all doing really, really well. They work really hard. They've done really well in their coursework elements of um, the coursework essays. And a lot of them are going on to study media-related qualifications at, at university. So they've obviously got a real enjoyment of the subject area. Um. Holyfield has been emotional. It's quite a brilliant place to be, you know. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs>